Okay, this is the AO1 for Dress of Threats. It's a very popular question, but it does follow a set formula. So you just go through a series of questions and you answer them and back them up with cases. So first of all, I would just point out in an exam question that duress is a full defence. So this means it leads to an acquittal. The burden of proof is on the prosecution to disprove the defence. So in other words, they have to show that the defendant acted through their own free will. They were not acting under duress. The case of A.G. Whelan says the defendant is forced to commit a crime due to the threat of death or serious injury. Now, these threats must be so great as to overbear the ordinary powers of human resistance. OK, the first question, who is the threat to? The threat has to be to the defendant or others. The case of Wright says that others means people close to you, so close friends and family. Just bear in mind, it does not cover threats to property or to animals. The next question is, what is a serious threat? So it has to be a threat of death or serious injury. And that was established in Valderrama Vega. So a threat to expose a secret is not serious enough. So um, yeah, there has to somewhere in the threat be death or serious injury. You can consider the cumulative effect. So if there was a threat to disclose a criminal conviction alongside a threat of serious injury, then that could be taken into account. The next issue is there has to be a connection. So the case of Cole says that there must be a connection between the threat and the crime. So the person making the threat actually has to nominate the crime that they want you to do. Okay, fourthly, the threat has to be immediate. What does immediate mean? Well, Abdul Hussein said immediate means imminent. The case of Hassan said if the defendant has time to go to the police, then they must do so. The next issue is, has the Graham test been satisfied? Now, the Graham test is a two stage test. Both parts have to be satisfied. First of all, the subjective part. Did the defendant act because they feared death or serious injury if they didn't act? And then secondly, the objective part. Would a sober person of reasonable firmness with the defendant's characteristics have acted in the same way? Now, the case of Bowen talked about characteristics. Low IQ and being timid are not relevant characteristics. However, pregnancy, gender, age, physical, mental disabilities are relevant characteristics. And then finally, you have to consider, are there any limitations to the defence? So if it's a case of murder, then the defence is not available. And that was established in how. If it's attempted murder, there's no defence. That's the case of Gotts. And also, if the defendant voluntarily joins a gang, there is no defence. Hassan said that if the defendant ought to foresee violence, then they will not receive the defence. So those are the key issues with dress of threats. Watch the AO3 video to see what to write in an essay.